Hello, I'm Paige Turner, coming to you live on videotape. I've been hearing a lot in the media about what happened during the 1980s. Unless you're under the age of 10, however, you probably don't have much trouble remembering the 80s, having just lived through them. I think we all know who Ronald Reagan was. Thank you very much. If you're like me, you want to know what's going to happen during the coming decade. That's what I'm here to tell you about tonight. Ten years from now, your television screen will be far bigger and sharper than today's, allowing you to perceive all of the subtleties in the sitcoms and game shows you'll be watching. Car, beer, and jeans commercials will continue to be indistinguishable from each other. Network programming on the air will still be free, although air itself will not. Also, we'll be seeing an increasing number of accidents on our streets due to the use of iPhones. Sometime during the next 10 years, a new drug will appear on the scene. This new drug, which will be called CRAP, will have no adverse physiological effects and will cause the user to remove the wool from his or her eyes to see things as they really are, to separate the wheat from the chaff, as it were. President Quayle and the Drug Enforcement Agency will, of course, declare war on this latest scourge, but without cause. The American people will have little interest in this drug, having no use for its effects. I'm sure you're familiar with the seeing eye dog. In the coming decade, advances in science will bring about the hearing ear dog, the smelling nose dog, the feeling skin dog, and the tasting tongue dog. What about the stock market? Stock prices will go up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, and ultimately down. The success of junk bonds in the 1980s will spawn the new trash bonds, bilge bonds, and scum bonds. Increasing sophistication in microchip technology will make small appliances and household devices such as the light switch more intelligent than most of your neighbors by the year 2000. This phenomenon will cause a dramatic increase in unemployment and crime. Advances in cryonics, however, will eliminate prison overcrowding, since by then we will be able to simply freeze and stack our convicts like so many popsicles. By the year 2000, our national debt will be paid off. <laughs> Just kidding. In the coming years, the AIDS virus may mutate and become as contagious as the common cold. A large asteroid may come from deep space to strike the Earth, destroying most living things thereupon. Or a superior race of aliens may invade the planet, finding humans to be useful as the alien equivalent of dog food. Tune in next time for more exciting news about the future. Have a good evening. I've been Paige Turner.